Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us today for the first in our Colour Astrology series exploring September and using the colour palette of Bayer Blue. So as I say this is the first in our series so this actually is exploring wedding flowers. So today we're going to be creating a beautiful storm lantern arrangement with an LED candle. Now it's a beautiful romantic blue and lilac table centre that could actually be used for either an indoor or outdoor wedding or even you could use it for a party. The blue and lilac tones sort of share cool and tranquil characteristics helping to ease tension. So what bride doesn't want a romantic calm and tranquil day? The lovely thing about using the candle also is when the light fades in the evening the candle can be lit and that will create a real sort of intimate and romantic feel. So my ingredients today are hydrangea elbertal blue so as you can see this beautiful vibrant blue colour acts as a really lovely foil for the lilac roses which I'll introduce later. Now we also have Gentiana. Now this gen gentian or gentiana is fantastic in respect you can break it down into several pieces so I'll show you how that works so shortly. And as I mentioned the lilac rose, now this one's actually memory lane. It does have a little bit of a pink hue to the outer guard petal but if you want to remove those guard petals it will actually leave, with, leave you with more of a lilac toned rose as you can see. So you can see there's quite a difference there between the pinks and the lilacs. So that's memory lane. Then I have some lovely Veronica. Now this particular Veronica I'm using is Clear Diana. What I would say to you is it does have that lovely little curvature. That spike actually gives a really lovely texture and a little added interest to the design. And then the foliage that I'm going to use is eucalyptus. And this one is everybody's favourite. This one is Cinerea. And the pale grey tones act beautifully with the blues and the lilacs because it has that slightly blue feel to the leaf. So that's my fresh products. Then the sundries that I'm going to use are a 12 inch plastic based posy pad. That's wet foam on the top plastic base on the bottom. I prefer to use the plastic bases when creating an arrangement for a table because you've got that plastic reservoir at the bottom for the water to soak into and then hopefully you don't get any spillage onto a tablecloth. Then I'm actually going to use a storm lantern and that's going to sit into the centre of the posy pad. Now the size that I have here is a 15.5 by 15.5 by 26 centimetres. And then I'm also going to use an LED candle and this one is a 7.5 by 20 centimetre and as you can see it has batteries inside to light it up. Okay and then finally but by no means least I have my trusty tool kit. Today I'm literally just going to need scissors and or secateurs. All right. So, enjoy!
So as always, I have some top tips for you. So my top tip number one is, if you're using a real candle, obviously don't leave it unattended and make sure you do check with the venue that they are happy for you to use live candles. Um, also make sure that the storm lantern you're using is heat resistant. I've gone down the safety route on this occasion and used an LED candle. Most venues are perfectly happy with those. Okay, top tip number two, with the base, because I've used water retaining foam, you could actually green this up quite a few days in advance if you wanted to, and store it somewhere nice and cool and keep it well watered. Top tip number three, if you're actually making multiple designs, so you want several of the same design, you could actually use one storm lantern in the centre of your posy pad as almost like a pro forma. So use that as your, your pattern, then you can leave all the other um, storm lanterns boxed up, ready for easy transportation to your venue. So then you're not handling them twice and maybe three times. Okay, and top tip number four, as I explained to you earlier, hydrangeas appear like they're quite an expensive option, but I've literally used one stem in this design. Now they are quite seasonal um, and very readily available currently, however we do get Colombian ones that are available all year round, but they are slightly smaller so you may need to consider perhaps increasing the quantity that you need for your arrangement. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching us. I hope we've inspired you to have a go. Next up, we're concentrating on funeral design, where we're going to be creating a really delicate, pretty, loose posy. All right, don't forget to like us. Don't forget to share us with your friends, family, and Flower Club members. And don't forget also to visit our YouTube channel and subscribe for lots more tips, hints, and inspirational ideas. So join us next time where we explore even further the colour palette of Blue Bayer. So see you soon. Bye.